much. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Um, so we're gonna break down chicken carcasses for us to see is like what we would do for a poultry contest so we can tell the different parts of the bird or if you were gonna bag it um, and stick it in your freezer. So first off, we've got some of the um, giblet chunks here. So guys, what is this? This is the neck. Now this is the neck without skin. It's pretty easy to recognize. If it had the skin on it, what other things could it look like? Yeah, you can kind of see the bone to it. Right. It kind of looks like, it, like the drumhead a little bit. Almost looks like the drumhead. It's small enough, it can kind of look like part of the wing. Not big enough to look like a leg, but it kind of has that shape when it's still got everything on it. Okay? What is this little thing right here? A heart. A heart. So the heart is heart shaped, just like a normal heart, except it's very tiny. And this guy had a, this guy must have been almost heartless. It's, it's a bad bird. Anyway, I got corn silk on my hands there. Okay, um, other giblets. What is this lovely little mass right here? Yeah. This is the liver, okay? So we can see it's kind of a mushy texture. It's kind of a darkish red to almost gray sometimes color. Um, it's kind of, I don't know, size. What would you equivalent that to size-wise? It's bigger than a half dollar. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. It's like two, roughly two square inches big, okay? What's this thing? Gizzard. This is a gizzard. So the gizzard, when they're sitting it down, um, can either be set like that, can be set like this, or can be open like this. If it's open to the inside, you'll notice it's got kind of a different color to it. You can see how it gets kind of some bluish purplish tint to it. Otherwise, the texture is kind of funky and wrinkled on the other side. Um, so of the giblets, it's got really a funky texture. So that's kind of what it looks like. See the opening? So the, gibble, or the uh, gizzard is one of the digestive pieces of the bird that's responsible for grinding stuff up, right? Since they don't have teeth. Here we got another one. This neck is a little longer than the other one was, which is, is what it is. Okay, this one's liver mass is kind of disgusting, actually. does not have a heart. Okay. That's kind of gross. Oh. I don't think that's actually our heart. But anyway, there we go. So that's what the giblets, or the inside organs, will look like, okay? Now, here we're starting with a whole bird, okay? There are a couple major pieces that they can chop it into next. Actually, what do you guys want to set a list down by me so I make sure I don't forget anything? Flip it over to the, there we go. Okay, now, I don't have a big enough knife to do this, but if I was to take this bird and chop it straight down the center like this, so you've got a breast half, you've got part of the back, you've got a wing, uh, you've got a leg and a thigh, what would that part be called? There's chop it like that. knives in the green bag. I'm not gonna chop it, I'll cut myself. Okay, this is a big enough knife. Anyway, I'll probably get fired for that. Um, so. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so we've got this thing chopped in half just like that. What do we call it? Half, right? That is a half a bird. Now, if I take this thing and I set them up like this, I'm just cutting through the skin at this point. You can hear it making some lovely little noises. Okay. If I take, now it's gonna be crunchy. And if I break his back like this, okay? And if I go through it and I separate him, Need a sharper <laughs> At least if I cut myself, it's recorded on camera so the doctors know what I did. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So, if I got this guy separated like this, now we have front half. front half and back half. So the front half consists of the whole breast, the whole wings, basically this little teeny tiny section of the back, right? Back half consists of basically the back, yeah. both thighs, and both the drums. And does it matter about the tail on anything? No. No, tail does not count. When we are doing um, grading, does the tail count? No. no. Nope, doesn't matter. Okay. What about the tip of the wing? Don't count. Doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. So, from our 
we're gonna set this guy aside for a second. From our back half, okay? If I take and I break this guy directly down the middle of his back, so we have half of the back, we have a thigh, and we have a drum. What are these things called now? Leg quarter. So if yep. you think about it, we just took half the bird, the back half of the bird, and we chopped that in half. Half of a half is a quarter, right? Kind of makes sense. So one way that we can tell this apart from a leg, so this is a leg quarter, is it should be kind of straighter on this side, and you can see we've got a chunk of the backbone, right? If I remove the chunk of backbone, I don't know if I'm talented enough to do this. I'm practically a doctor now. <laughs> you should go to medical, medical school and come she's, surgery. She's already certified. <laughs> yeah. Look at these prime <laughs> surgery skills right here. She learned all the time. Okay, so that's a chunk of the back I'm throwing away. Bam, don't need that unless you're making soup. Oh, you don't need that. Okay, so what is this now that I've got this back chunk removed? Whatever. It's a whole leg, okay? Can we see the differences? So here it's a little straighter. We got some section of the backbone vertebrae versus here we don't, okay? So leg quarter, whole leg, right? We're gonna put him on a plate. We can identify him later. Ah! <laughs> now, if I take this whole leg here and I chop him in half. Then you guys like that sound, apparently. Now, when I do this, what I'm doing is I'm separating it at the joint so I can cut it without having to chop the bone because clearly my knife is not sharp enough for that. Ah. Okay, that's kind of mangled. What is this bottom part of the leg that we have here? Drumstick. Drumstick, or we just call it the drum most of the time, right? Okay, so we've got the drum. What is, that's kind of mangled, but what is that piece right there? The thigh. The thigh, okay. Now, let's say I take this off. What is it now? Skinless thigh. Whoa, what a concept. Skinless thigh, okay? Now, this is the one I always really massacre. I'm practically a carnivore as well, as you can see. Surprised you guys aren't doing color commentary yet. As you can see, the wild lady removed the bone from the middle school would like it about the <laughs> nature documentary. Oh, the that. middle schoolers be all over this. Uh, Are you going to put that on your YouTube? Heck yeah. Get ready for it. Actually, we're going to do this in class too because we're talking about poultry. <laughs> My first step in the YouTube awesome. started. <laughs> yes. Start. Like and subscribe. Anyway, okay. Hit the bell. We got that out. What is that now? Skinless boneless yeah. thigh. Boneless skinless thigh. Now, how can we tell this apart from like a chunk of the breast? Yeah. Back half would have darker meat, right? Higher content of myoglobin. So, this thing is darker. Now if it's flipped on this side, it's still darker. How can we tell this apart from the boneless, skinless drum? Which I'm gonna make next. Different shape. Different shape, right? So, the boneless, skinless thigh, when we peel it out here, is either gonna be kind of more of a square or kind of a triangle shape, right? So, we've got the skin removed, and this one is hard to do without making it look terrible. <laughs> oh. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Let's that. <laughs> Easy there. Censor this video. This is, this is an educational video, people. You're going to get her age <laughs> Mangled and I did a terrible job at this, but this would be a what now? A boneless, boneless, skinless drum. boneless skinless drum, not just a pile of poo, right? So, the difference when we get this set out, can we kind of see the shape is okay. like distinctly triangle or almost kind of heart shaped? Yeah. The other thing that separates it, what about these little stringy thingies here, right? Yeah, they're stringing. We got some little ligaments and tendons compared to, does the thigh have that? No. Nope. Okay. Boneless skinless. Take him home and put him on the grill. Mmm, delicious. Just kidding. 
He's going in the freezer. Okay. <laughs> Duh, jeez. Duh. <laughs> okay, now, what is this again? It's a uh, chicken. Front, front half. half. Front half. Chicken. Short... <laughs> it's a chicken. No, it's not. It's a dead chicken. Okay. Okay, so we're going to remove, what's this? Wing. Wing. Okay, we're going to remove one of these. How many of you guys think wings are delicious? I don't know. I don't eat this no. stuff. What? No. Fried chicken <laughs> wings are like the stuff that gets at the bottom of the bucket that nobody wants to eat. Ugh. What about baked chicken wings? Fried are better, no, my smoked. personal opinion. I, smoked, they're good too. I just okay. pass on the chicken, I like chicken nuggets. What is that? Uh, what are those? Wing. It's a wing. Now, if I do this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Bird's eye. <laughs> You gotta, get, you gotta get grown. You're making me like extra short, okay? Or you're gonna get my silver hair. Silver? <laughs> my silver hair. Um, in the sheep world, I would be called a speckled now. <laughs> you laughed, that was funny. <laughs> Thank you! I'll be here all night. Okay. Just kidding, I'm going home at six. Um, anyway. Okay. What's that? Tip. Tip, Tip doesn't, doesn't count. count. Okay, throw that away. Now, what is this? Wing. 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 Still a wing, still a whole wing, okay? Joke's on you guys. That was almost a trick question, but you got it. Okay, now if I take this little wing, crunch. I saw him in half like that. What is this? Drumette. This is drumette, so this is the top part of the wing that attaches the closest to the body. Okay, what is this? Flat. Wing portion. The flat, which we now call the wing portion. Same thing, new name. Am I bleeding? Uh oh. I am not. We're safe. For now. For now. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so if you shove these two together, they make the what? Wing. If you take them apart, that's the? Uh, drum out. If you put a, take that one, it's wing the? Wing portion. Wing portion, aka the flat, right? Okay. Inferior. Now, hmm, what are we going to do here? We're going to pull off this other wing. The trick is to make all these parts from two birds. you, you got to kind of do this in a little bit of a method. method. There's a method to my madness some days. Okay, what is that? Bowling. Bowling. He's on a plate by himself. Thudded. <laughs> Thudded. What is that? Whole oh, chicken. Okay. Turkey. Now. <laughs> turkey. What else do I got on my list here? Um, so I take this thing and I start. Let's do this. Ew, no. Okay, so I'm cutting between some of these ribs. If you don't like crunching, don't listen. Ew. Silence. <laughs> Oops, I missed this spot. Shoot. <laughs> Nobody likes the crunching. I hope you can get that lovely crunching on camera. It would make my day. Okay, so yeah, now, so is this actually a part? <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is a part. Um, <laughs> mm, chicken juice is delicious. Not really. Okay, yes, this is part. Okay, so looking at this, okay, off of our part list, what do we call this thing? Whole breast. Now, if it's got the little wings sticking out, not actual, like, not that kind of wings, yeah. right? Not bird wings, caca. Angel wings. Angel wings. If we got little angel wings sticking out the back of this, what is it? Whole breast with ribs. Whole breast with ribs, oh, right. Yeah. Okay, now if we flip this this way, I did a pretty bad job of kind of cutting that, but can you kind of see how our wings stick out the side a little bit? Yeah. Yes. So that is a whole breast with ribs. I almost said with wings. That's not really a thing. Now, um, I don't know if I can actually do this because I don't think I'm actually that talented. Maybe I am. Just kidding. Maybe I am. Basically, I'm not that talented. We're not going to try because it's going to end in a disaster and we're going to have a mess on the floor. If I were to take the bones and take the skin off of this, then what is it called? Boneless, skinless breast with rib. with ribs, right? Or with rib meat. So, if we have rib meat attached to it, we can see the wings, right? All I'm doing right now is I'm removing the skin. Now, what's this? <laughs> what is that right there? It's a uh, 
Fat. Fat. This bird was a little chubby. It's the worst part of the meat. Ugh. Have you ever seen like that much fat on one before? Oh, I've seen them fatter than this. The problem with the fat is then it gets, when they get that fat, you see how they get some of this internal fat here where it gets kind of the yellowy color? That's the grosser stuff in my opinion. Okay, so if I were to take, and if I were to take my knife right here and cut up on the breast this way, what do I have then? What's this bone that sits right here? The wishbone. The wishbone. Now I'm not gonna do that because I want these breasts for more things here. So right now I'm cutting on either side. What's this bone that runs right through here? Keel. The keel bone. So that would be like on us, um, our collarbone, not collarbone. What's this bone? Sternum. What am I thinking? <laughs> Clearly not a doctor. <laughs> Just kidding. But you're a surgeon. Yeah. I am a surgeon. surgeon, not a doctor, just a surgeon. I don't. <laughs> Isn't that a scary thought? I don't even know where things are. I just need to know how to fix them. <laughs> surgeon or um, veterinarian? You just go so you do exploratory surgeries. Literally exploratory surgeries. That is excellent. I don't go in to fix. I go in. To I go in to mess around. <laughs> We're just gonna see what you got going on. Wow, that's interesting. Good luck with that. <laughs> Oops, there's a vein there. <laughs> Didn't know that. I learned a new lesson. What a good exploration. <laughs> is okay. That chicken nuggets come from? <laughs> yes. Okay. What is that? Split. Specifically, split remember, we gotta be specific. Split. Boneless, skin, skinless, skinless, split, split breast. breast. Boneless, skinless, split breast. So it is half the breast. There's no bones, no skin. Boneless, skinless, split breast. AKA grill meat. Right? Yeah, delicious. Now, throw some ranch barbecue seasoning on it. Well, barbecue or ranch, maybe not barbecue in ranch. Oh, no, now, you guys it. see this little muscle here? Whoop. Yeah, okay, here's our keel bone, right? It is the what? Tenderloin. 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 So that pops right out from underneath where that breast was. And if I pull him off nice and clean there, I should just be able to see exposed bone underneath. Look at that beautiful thing. And it looks literally like chicken tenderloin. There's your tendies. Okay. So we're actually going to do the same thing on this side because I've already massacred this beyond, uh oh, there we go. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm using my thumb, do you see how that split really nice, between the muscle groups, and when you do that you don't have to use your knife and things actually pull apart significantly better. Oops, unless you do that you tear right through everything. Maybe just operate something with their bare hands. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Nurse, scalpel? We don't have scalpels. Perfect. <laughs> take my gloves. <laughs> I can't feel anything with these gloves. Nurse, take them off. <laughs> that would be creepier yet. <laughs> okay, what is that again? It's a uh, boneless, skinless, split breast. Okay, I have, short, I have short term memory loss. Here's our tendy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I broke it. Uh, short. Don't I remember worry. already. Worry oh, this one's bad. Don't look at this one. Okay, well, we'll pretend he doesn't exist. Trash <laughs> That's perfectly good muscle, at least not children. Okay, so, what's, I broke it, but what's that bone right there? Wishbone. Okay, so if I would have cut up on the breast, that's the wishbone, right? Yep. Is there much left to do with this? No. Keel bone. Put it in the soup. Going in the trash. Okay, now we have another bird. We can kind of show. So, so far we have seen the half, we've seen front half, we've seen rear half, we've seen whole breast with ribs, we've seen bone, oh, we did not see. What is it? Boneless, skinless, whole breast. Boneless, skinless, whole breast. That is a half of Yes, split breast. Split breast, thank you. Okay, difference. One is big and it has both sides. One is not. There we go. So we have now seen the boneless, skinless, whole breast. Um, so we have a couple of the breast pieces left. Um, we also need to see breast quarter. Okay, so if I take my bird, chop them in half, what is it? Chop a half. It's a half, bingo. If I split through the skin here. I gotta head out a little early, maybe is that alright? Go for it. Okay. You've seen this. Okay, and I break the back. Pop a phone. Um, uh, I'll take it. 
next to him. Okay, alright. Okay. So, we're gonna take. Chop, 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 chop. What's this? Half. Back half. Back half, what's this? Front, front half. Front half, okay? If I take and I chop him in half like that, what is it? Leg quarter. Leg quarter. If there's no backbone, it's a. Leg. Leg. Okay, we're gonna leave him whole like that for now. We'll let him marinate. Okay, so I think we've seen everything on there. So we talked about the wishbone, we've seen the tenderloin, we have seen the leg quarter, we have seen the leg. Um, we did not see the thigh with the back portion, so maybe I will break him down yet. Um, we've seen the boneless, skinless thigh, we've seen the drumstick, we've seen the boneless, skinless drum. So the only part that we need to see from the back half of the bird would be thigh with back. So again, I'm breaking him in half, right along the backbone. There's lots this. of cracks and bumps. <laughs> mm -hmm. You need to go to the chiropractor. <laughs> I mean, I think I did better than the chiropractor. <laughs> he feels no pain now. <laughs> oh wait, it's because he's dead. Oop. Okay, so we have this oh, yeah. now. Um, this might get tricky. Maybe not. Okay, if I take the leg off, I didn't quite cut that in the right spot, did I? Yes, I did. Okay, what is this? Drumstick. Drumstick. It's the bottom half of the leg. Okay, now, what is this thing here? Thigh with back. Thigh with back portion, right? So we've got chunk of the back. We've got a chunk of the thigh. If we see here, we've got a lot of skin. But if we see here, we can have part of the vertebrae. Now, what shape kind of is that? Triangle. Kind of triangle, kind of square, kind of like a, a square angle. I made a new word, okay? Um, so it's kind of an awkward shape. It's a fairly large piece, right? But we can tell, obviously, there's some bone in there. We've got some back. Anytime on anything that, excuse me, it looks like a back half or anytime anything looks like a straight line and part of a backbone, it's gonna have a chunk of the back, obviously. Kinda makes sense, right? There's no leg attached to it, so we know it's not a leg quarter, so that means we've got our thigh right there with our back portion. Now, your thigh, you should kind of be able to see, depending on how they place it, a little nubbin where they took the, uh, the leg off. Now, sometimes they'll have it putting, uh, kinda have it set like this. So if that's the case, you should be able to see, can we see part of the vertebrae here? Yes, can we see the bone where, or the joint here where our leg was attached, our drum was attached? Yes, so this is kind of what it looks like upside down. These doesn't matter, upside down, they look the same either way, right? Wing upside down, doesn't matter, looks the same. Tenderloin, looks the same. Drumette, flat, looks the same. Most of these, for the most part, if we flip them over, look about the same, but there are a couple of them like this that do look a tad different. Random bone, okay. We're gonna slide him over here for now. All right, so what would this thing be here then? Like quarter. Like quarter, very good. Okay, so now what's this piece again? Front half. Front half, I'm gonna go to this pan because it's a tad bigger. So we have not seen from our list, we don't have any paws or the feet, which is unfortunate. Breast quarter. Breast quarter we need to see. Um. And then breast quarter without wing are basically the two things we need to see. Now, this one is sometimes a tad more challenging for me because of how we cut through some of this. There's gonna be some bone crunching. I didn't bring a big cleaver. This will be the part where I have to watch my fingers. Shield your eyes, young ones. Just kidding, it won't be that graphic. So all I'm doing here is I'm kind of cutting right down the center along the keel bone. Ooh. I better figure out which side of the keel bone I want to stay on. Big crunch. Oh, that was my fingers, not the bird. Maybe we'll get through the big crunch. Well, 
Uh, that's not quite what I wanted to do, but we'll roll with it. So technically, I don't have half the kill bone in here because one, my knife's not sharp enough. Two, I wasn't skilled enough at whacking it here. But that's kind of mangled. But what is this? Breast this is a breast quarter. So remember, we took on the back half. We chopped it in half so we had part of the back, the thigh, and the leg, and we called that a quarter because it was a quarter of the bird. So if we take our front half and we cut that in half, that gives us a breast quarter. So we have half of the breast, we have a wing, right? Now, if I take my breast quarter, <laughs> that cricket's really starting to get on my nerves. Or is that the freezer? The freezer's the <laughs> that freezer is really starting to get on my nerves. I think I missed my joint. So cutting along the joints anytime you're cutting something up is good. Okay, what's that? Wing. Woo. Okay, if I take that off, it's still the. Because what? Tip doesn't matter. Tip doesn't count. Tip doesn't matter. Okay, what part's that? Uh, drum it. Drum it. What part's that? Wing portion. Wing portion. You guys are so smart. Okay, so what do I have now? Breast. Skin <laughs> split breast. Okay. We still have rib, we still have back, we still have bone, we still have all this stuff in here. It's the same as this, it's just missing what? Oh, breast split. quarter without wing. It's the breast quarter without the wing, right? Okay. Have we seen everything on our list? I believe we have. So we have now officially seen all the parts to a chicken that we would see in the poultry contest. Hello, give me, <laughs> give me a better angle. Um, so hopefully that's kind of helpful in learning where the parts come from, kind of what they look like a little bit. So as we zoom around the table quick, this is a what? Split breast, boneless, skinless, split breast. Boneless, skinless, split breast. This is a? Whole wing. Whole wing or wing. This is a? Tenderloin. This is a? Drumette. Drumette. This is a wing portion. Wing portion. That is a wing. whole wing. Okay. This again is a skinless, skinless split breast. What is this? Gizzard. 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 What is this? Heart. What is this? Liver. How about this? Broken neck. Ah, he's not going very far. He did. Okay, what about this? Uh, leg quarter. Leg quarter because we have the back. Actually, we got a little tail on him too. Thigh and the leg. That one there is a? Oh, that one's a boneless, skinless drum. Boneless, skinless drum. This guy is a? Boneless, skinless thigh. Okay. This guy? Leg quarter. You're right. Oh. He's a leg quarter. Um, this guy? Um, Thigh with back. With back. That guy? Drum. Drum. Uh, this guy? <laughs> quarter, breast. Breast quarter. This guy? Breast quarter without Okay, so in the process, we have seen some of these and everything as we've been cutting them up.